Hello friends, welcome back to another episode by Engineering Today and hope you're doing well. Today we're going to discuss how SpaceX Starship and NASA may revolutionize the space industry based on some recent progress. NASA astronauts will return to the moon very soon and reach its surface again in a lander made by SpaceX. Yes, it's a lunar version of Starship. Recently, NASA awarded SpaceX $2.89 billion for two missions. Taking these contracts in account, we can say NASA now has grave confidence in SpaceX and they're ready to bet for immense development of space exploration. NASA has awarded SpaceX, and only SpaceX, a contract to design, build, test, and fly two missions to the lunar surface. The second flight of that Starship will be a crewed mission launching for the moon as early as 2024. Rick Tomlinson, a proponent of human settlement of the solar system, said, If Starship meets the goals Elon Musk has set for it, Starship getting this contract is like the U.S. government supporting the railroads in the Old West here on Earth. It is transformational to degrees no one today can understand. After thorough analyzing of SpaceX's launch cadence over the last decade, we can easily assess that SpaceX's engineers are at present the best in the world, showing their prowess in designing, building, and launching new and reusable rockets simultaneously. They've proved their superiority. Starship, though in prototype stage, is technically the most promising vehicle with a lot of capability for future missions. The most important challenge that SpaceX has to face is the accurate and perfect landing of Starship. SpaceX also has to develop the technology of on-orbit refueling of Starship for succeeding their interplanetary missions. Elon Musk had said a year earlier that one of the hardest engineering problems known to man is making a reusable orbital rocket. It's stupidly difficult to have a fully reusable orbital system. SpaceX hasn't carried out any orbital flight test of Starship as part of demonstration to NASA, but NASA has devoted itself to the ambitious program much earlier before Starship has landed safely in a flight test. This shows that NASA has full support of SpaceX's project. Abhi Tripathi, who worked as a systems engineer at NASA from the year 2000 to 2010, had also conducted studies of Moon and Mars missions for several years. He said, NASA will undoubtedly bring to bear a wealth of invaluable information, technology, and subject matter experts to help SpaceX achieve their shared goal of putting humans on Mars. Tripathi had also worked in SpaceX on the cargo and crew versions of the Dragon spacecraft. At present, he is in the University of California, Berkeley. Whenever we talk about in-space activities, NASA has always come first with huge expertise. SpaceX leaning on NASA's expertise and carrying out Crew Dragon missions for them has learned a lot, and their experience and expertise is rapidly increasing. In terms of deep space exploration, several types of technologies are needed for covering interplanetary transports. Technologies for recycling of air, water, and other consumables are some of them. SpaceX has very limited experience on these technologies, but NASA, on the other hand, has been researching these technologies for nearly 20 years with the astronauts on the International Space Station. Partnership of SpaceX and NASA means the private space agency will have full support and help from the U.S. government. According to SpaceX, Starship and Super Heavy can easily deliver 100 tons to the lower Earth orbit. The production speed of SpaceX is already at a good pace. They're building one Starship within a month and also intend to reuse each booster, Super Heavy, and spacecraft, Starship, multiple times. In comparison to NASA's SLS using Starship, NASA could easily deliver payloads with the capacity 100 tons into orbit every two weeks to four weeks. On using SLS, NASA will have to bear a hefty cost of $2 billion along with one launch per year. NASA officials positively approved and appreciated Starship's potential. Tripathi said, In picking the Starship architecture, NASA is helping enable a path toward a super-heavy launch vehicle in-space propellant storage, in-space refueling, 
and large up and down mass to planetary surfaces. Lisa Watson Morgan, the Human Landing System Program Manager at NASA, said. We were looking to see what industry partners could bring in terms of innovation and solutions. NASA, with their approval of the Human Landing System, awarded to SpaceX's Starship, has put a government mark on the next generation vehicle. NASA has already invested a huge amount in the SLS rocket, then the $2.89 billion contract awarded to SpaceX. SpaceX's contract seems very cheap as NASA spends that much amount every year for development of the SLS rocket and its associated ground systems. Taking into account all the costs of SLS, this rocket is significantly over budget. Not only that, SLS was also targeted to launch in the end of 2016, but it's lagging for five years from its targeted launch period. Over the last few years, SpaceX is winning several launch contracts from NASA. The Artemis program contract is an addition to the string of launch contracts. The contract says, first a super heavy rocket would launch Starship to lunar orbit, then after a few days an SLS rocket with an Orion spacecraft fixed atop will travel towards the moon with NASA astronauts on board. Then Orion would dock with Starship in lunar orbit. After transferring the crew to Starship, the lander vehicle will descend on the moon. After coming back to the lunar orbit aboard the same Starship, the astronauts will then again move to Orion and travel back to Earth. Not only SpaceX receives NASA funding, other aerospace companies such as United Launch Alliance, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Aerojet Rocketdyne also receive funding of NASA. Starship is built mainly on the resources of SpaceX and partly on their fewer suppliers. Some other companies build spacesuits for lunar missions. NASA's Artemis program also seems to be a SpaceX-only exploration program, though NASA themselves and some other companies are a part of it. To talk about the international partners in this mission, we can find out from a confirmation hearing this week before the U.S. Senate Commerce Committee. Bill Nelson, the NASA Administrator, said that his goal was increasing the coalition of nations who would participate in the Artemis program. Nelson said, Competition is always good. NASA's reliance on SpaceX likely would work against this goal of Nelson. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket is now the most prominent among the world. It's relatively cheaper launch cost than the competent rockets and the striking features of reusability has already hampered the commercial launch industries in Japan, Russia, and Europe a lot. For the Artemis program, Europe is contributing to it. The service module for the Orion spacecraft is designed and built by them. According to a report, the nation's activities in deep space remain very tied up in international policy, alliances, adversaries, and security, as well as space exploration and science. There are a number of foreign policy interdependencies and offsets that are managed through or impacted space, generally below the surface. SpaceX, equipped with their Starship vehicle, proved to be the best option to NASA for carrying out a sustainable lunar exploration program on the surface of the Moon. Starship can easily cover the necessities of NASA for carrying people and cargo to the Moon, and even more than that with a cheaper cost for launch. Thus, it became the best option for NASA. Furthermore, in awarding the Human Landing System contract to SpaceX, NASA has embraced a risky yet highly rewarding technology. If NASA wants to go to the moon and beyond, it must work with a multitude of international contractors and countries. NASA has increased the ultimate strings of Starship success by placing a lander contract on Starship. If Starship is successful, NASA no longer needs to pick just one or two big things to do in space. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more latest updates. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.